This neighborhood wine bar has a twist. It's vegetarian and vegan and makes Michelle really happy with creative, delicious dishes that even her omnivorous husband enjoys. To indulge herself, she travels to Second Street in Oakland to Encuentro Cafe and Wine Bar. Our concept, uh, we're sustainable, local, organic, small plates, wine bar. I'm Lacey Schur, and I'm the executive chef and co-owner of Encuentro. When you go out to eat, you eat with all of your senses. And so when we present food, we try to put everything on the plate, all the color, texture, um, all of the aroma, and serve that as a piece of art to someone. I'm Linda Braz, and I'm the wine buyer and co-owner of Encuentro Cafe and Wine Bar. We run with anywhere from 30 to 35 wines by the glass. Uh, you can also purchase a bottle, of course. We try to get some interesting wines from very small producers. A lot of our wines are vegan wines. I've been a vegetarian since I was about 13 years old. And so in doing this restaurant, uh, I wanted to stick to what I believe in to be a healthful way of eating. Well, you know, I've heard the joke, where's the beef, a million times over. So we try to offer a broad spectrum of dishes on our menu, something for everyone. There's no other organic vegetarian wine bar in the Bay Area, <laughs> so it's one of a kind. All right, Michelle, so are you vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, you know, a omnivarian? Uh, what are you? <laughs> I like a friend's uh, phrase. Well, I'm plant-based eating. I like okay. that phrase. So I do eat fish occasionally. I don't eat very much dairy, but I don't eat any meat or poultry. So, um, and I eat a lot of vegetarian and vegan food. Okay, yeah. and so this is a, a perfect spot? Oh, it's it? perfect. Well, first of all, it's just great because the food is fantastic. But secondly, I know I can order everything, and it's mm -hmm. going to be both um, flavorful and creative. It's a wine bar. It is a wine bar. Mm -hmm. So the wines mm -hmm. are really about sustainability yeah. and organic wine yeah. producers. And Very thoughtful wine right. list. What I suggest is getting the wine flight because then you right. can try three different wines. When we options. walked in, it was busy. So we sat down in the corner and the manager came out and he gave us the wine list. He was showing us different wines. Mm -hmm came back, gave us tastings while oh, we were waiting. Yeah. So we had like two, three tastings of different wine, came back, had some You were feeling fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. At that time I was like, vegetarian, whatever. <laughs> We'll do it. Let's do it. So did it change your mind about vegetarian you know what? food? I tell Are you, you a what, vegetarian? I'm, I like vegetarian food. You know, I'm, I'm Middle Eastern anyway, right. so we have a lot of vegetarian mm -hmm. hummus and yeah. kabuli and yeah, stuff like sure. that. So, so, for, so for me, to get eat some of this food was yeah. just amazing. Okay. I mean, the, it, the flavors on it was just really good. It I was, was such a creative use of, of ingredients. Mm -hmm. I, I really just was stunned because it, yeah. it, you looked at the menu and you thought, well, how can that go, go well together? And you tasted it and it was just sublime. Yeah, right. sublime, that's a great yeah. word. It was, it was, I was just, just blown away, it was so they fabulous. They really think about their flavor combinations. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get the sweet, yeah. you get the cream, yes. you get the little bit Salt. of spice, a little bit yes. of salt. Salty. So um, what, were, what were some of the dishes that you ate that you would recommend to the, folks? The dates with the macadamia oh pate. Oh yes. Oh. Did you all get that? Oh, I'm so glad. Like melt in your mouth dates. Yeah. The the cherry reduction sauce. Yeah. I mean, we were just slopping that up that with our. Really I, mean, I almost yeah. slopped it up with my fingers. It was yeah. so good. This latest time was the first time we'd had that, and I thought, and and we were sharing, and so I had one, and I thought I could easily take all of these. I did. We actually had two orders. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was too good. Yeah. My favorite yeah. dish was the beet. And goat cheese on the crostini yeah. with the balsamic uh, reduction, reduction yeah. with the sweet and the savory, yes. mm -hmm. and it was just. A I ordered one, I gave my wife one, and then right away I had to order another. Yeah. I told yeah. her she couldn't have any of that. I, I was like, no, great. That's a, this is for me. Their bruschetta changes throughout the season, and they're always really great variations, and again, really thoughtful pairing of flavors. Did anyone try the dark kale salad, or the dark green salad? That was yes. amazing. The kale, arugula, French lentils, yeah. you know, roasted beets, hazelnuts for yes. crunch. I mean, it was, it was like this just perfect yeah. combination of ingredients. There's a V on the menu when yes. it's yes. a vegan dish, yes. so and you can also or vegetarian, yes. just, mm -hmm. you know, you can you order options. cheese or vegan cheese. Right. right. And yeah. I, I have to say, I've tried a lot of vegan cheeses, and I have never been satisfied with them. And at this place, the vegan cheeses, you didn't feel like you were missing anything. No. Mm -hmm. They're creamy, no, fantastic, the thing, and gluten-free, yeah. too. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. the only thing I will say about gluten-free, which I was a little disappointed, they yeah. didn't have gluten-free bread. I know. Mm. No, you're which, right. Which was a little bit of a that's disappointment a, because, mm -hmm. my, you know, point. and mm -hmm. everything is, has... There's a lot of bread. Bread yes. base, mm -hmm. you would yeah. want at least have a gluten-free bread. Yeah. But other than point. that, I think, you know, the yeah. flavors were all spot on. Being a mushroom lover, I know there's some marinated mushrooms that are... 
Yeah, that appealing. was a delicious uh, surprise, actually. Um, the marinated mushrooms, the smoked pecan pate, mm. which was mm. so flavorful. Oh, that yeah, that um, crostini, good. mustard that was really spicy. So, so if you like spicy, it added mm -hmm. like a really nice punch. And you basically made your own crostini. It was great to share. Oh, wow. The mushrooms were wow. delicious. And again, a great example of how Encuentro highlights the flavors. It doesn't try to replace any meat. It just really makes really great fantastic inventive foods. And did you have the sea cakes? I did. I had the oh, GP sea cakes. They were fantastic. Oh, they held together beautifully. There was a vegan tartar sauce that uh, was just fantastic. Yeah, it they was take really kind good. of traditional foods, mm -hmm. polenta, mm -hmm. um, Reuben, they take a Reuben. Oh, and we had that. Yeah, had the so Reuben. they take kind of traditional foods and then just do a little bit of a twist on it. You um, could close your eyes and not know you weren't eating a Reuben. It yeah, was the Reuben's so fantastic. good. And to do the the way they did the sauteed cabbage and yes. apples for yeah. the Reuben instead of slaw, yeah. it was genius. Yeah. yeah. A vegan chocolate cake. Oh, the chocolate oh cake. That was <laughs> unbelievable. You were waiting to get to yeah. that. Oh. I was, I was, I, that's what I it wanted to so, get to. It was that, so light and fluffy. You couldn't even tell it was vegan. It was moist. I think better than, right? Oh, my God. It's the best vegan cake I've ever had. Ever had in my life. Often that's dense great. and a little bit where you can't eat all and of it. And it's often a different flavor that's yes. just sort of off-putting. Sure. This one was sure. soft mm -hmm. and fluffy, and yeah. I, I had no trouble eating it all right then and there. Yeah. And what about affordability? I think for the quality of the food, yeah. uh, the portions, yes. uh, especially if you go in. Portions are huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we took stuff home. Did anybody meet Lacey, the owner, or one of the yes, owners? Yes, we did. Okay, no. good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She, it was the first time that we'd met her this latest right. visit, and she was just so lovely and you could tell kind of like what you were saying the before. passion behind the passion, the passion. yes, and, yes. The, and the heart and the soul behind the food all right this is your spot michelle give us a quick summary well for fresh inventive really creative food in a really cozy and very comfortable uh environment i recommend encuentro it's great for vegans vegetarians and meat eaters alike all right and jill i would drive across the bridge for the chocolate cake <laughs> <laughs> and jack i love it i think they turned me into uh, a vegan restaurant person now. I'm going to be going. I'm going to be going. I, I work right there. All right. If you would like to try Encuentro Cafe and Wine Bar, it's on 2nd Street at Jackson in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-832-9463. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Reservations are recommended and the average tab per person without drinks is around $25.